Hello everyone. Now it is time to see a web driver sampler. Till now we have seen how to use the web driver integrated with uh, uh, with uh, JMeter. For that we had to pull the jar and put it into the JUnit folder of uh, JMeter. But now they have provided us with a web driver sampler which is much easier to use and uh, it says that unlike most samplers the web driver sampler provides the reader with an empty editor field much like a blank canvas and uh, it says it it is a little funny here don't be dismayed as with great responsibility comes great power the wiki will document what each of these field does and will also detail some of the common use cases that the scripter may have so uh, it is highly recommended that uh, before using this sampler you just go through this two minute tutorial uh, before continuing this session sorry uh, this pop ups are coming so i need to take care of that uh, so these are few examples over here and we will be using the wds class this is the um, uh, Sampler automatically injects a web driver scriptable object with the name of WDS and the object has the following properties for the scripter to use. So now let's look into a practical example as to how it is done. Here is a, a sample screenshot. We should provide a driver config and a driver sampler and there is a space to write our script. So let's see it in a practical example. So I will clear my previous results. Uh, so the, here I have put a driver, Chrome driver config in which uh, I am just, uh, I, I have not changed anything, use system proxy settings. And in Chrome, I am setting the Chrome driver path, Chrome driver.exe path. This is important, otherwise it will not run at all. And then I have added a web driver sampler uh, so uh, you will get these two only if you download the jar file from here there are a couple of jar files for the lib folder and couple of jar files for the ext folder once you download it you will come to know which jar files you need to place in the lib folder and which jar files you need to place in the ext folder so once that is done we have this uh, we, you will have this web driver sampler when you right click on the thread group similar is the case when you use chrome driver config or html driver config html unit driver config so now let's uh, start with the sample script i have not done any changes in chrome driver config other than putting the part to the chrome driver now let's see what goes into the web driver sampler here i have put a very simple example i just uh, i am using the wds uh, object that i mentioned to you earlier it's a scriptable object and i am uh, invoking the sample result dot sample start this will start the uh, browser and then it will get this particular url and then it will end this is very similar to driver dot get when we use a uh, selenium web driver script and sample end is very similar to driver dot quit in a selenium web driver script so it is a this particular script is a very simple you can use it for complex scripting as well with functions and all but uh, it's not in the scope of this here i'm just giving a demo on how it works so let's go to view results tree and we will start our execution So now if you notice in the console and uh, it will say only local connections allowed and it, it has started a Chrome browser session. Now it will uh, maximize and it will open the site for JMeter plugins.
so it is opening the site now it has already located the url there you go it has now unless and until it sinks the entire site it will not close the browser window notice it will keep the browser window open until it sinks the site so this has passed let's have a look so the response data is coming there is a lot of response data here thus we have executed the web driver sampler of uh, which is provided by jmeter so thanks a lot i hope this session was uh, was beneficial for you and do subscribe to my channel and do keep watching and learning thank you